Hi there, welcome to tdcat.com. Today I wanted to just talk about this little problem here. Ooh, that doesn't work very well, does it? This little problem here. iTunes could not back up iPhone because the iPhone disconnected. I've had to back up um, a phone very recently, not something that I've done before, oddly. And I try and avoid using iTunes whenever I can, really, because I hate hate the software with a passion but um but you know sometimes it's necessary to do certain things with it so i came across this problem and there's all sorts of stuff online about what can solve this or what might solve it there's all kind of a, kind of different opinions but i just wanted to let you know what my personal discovery if you like or was or my thoughts on on the subject might work for you might be something completely different but I thought I'd just put it out there in case you're having this problem. Okay, so when you connect your iPhone to your computer, I think the main thing you've got to make sure is you are connecting it to a sort of native USB port. And what I mean by that is not a USB port that is controlled by third-party drivers. A lot of even quite new computers, actually, with USB 3.0, uh, have that controlled with a third-party driver. You might not realize that, but if you're plugging your iPhone into a port that looks something like this, it usually signified by the blue color uh, USB 3, then there's a chance that it's actually being controlled by a third-party driver, and it's not sort of part of the main motherboard, if you like. So if you've got an Intel motherboard uh, and uh, all your chipsets kind of Intel or something, then... The, the most of the USB ports that are actually all sort of the main board USB ports will be uh, Intel controllers. So, but if I look at my device manager here, for example, I see I can go to device manager on my computer here and look under universal serial bus controllers. And I can see here that I've got four of them here. Well, I've got two hubs and two controllers actually uh, that are Fresco. So they're controlled by Fresco drivers. It's a Fresco, presumably a Fresco logic chipset, rather than these here, which are our USB 2 Intel controllers. So what I did was originally I had it, had it plugged into one of these and I didn't realize. And what was showing actually in my computer, it wasn't coming up quite in the same way. So I connected the device and it didn't come up with this kind of, actually quite nasty looking icon here, this black icon here. And it, uh, in the bottom right hand side, when I plugged it in, it didn't say that there was an iPhone found, an Apple iPhone found. It just sort of said that your device is ready to use, uh, device drivers installed. So when you connect your iPhone, look out for whether or not, firstly, this shows up clearly here. And secondly, whether it actually says iPhone connected, you know, actually uses the word iPhone. And the third point is make sure you're, cool, just try it in a different USB port basically, and make sure you're not connecting it to a USB 3 port. So the blue, again, I'll put this picture up. This is, the, this is usually what a USB 3 port looks like. The blue sort of color signifies that. And it may be on your laptop that, it, that it's controlled by a third party driver. And that to me fixed the problem. I connected it to this instead. So if I do these by connection, oh, not by connection, sorry, device type by connection, I've now got it under these here. So these are my Intel, Intel USB hubs. And I've got it as a mobile device USB driver here. Apple iPhone, there we go. That's where it shows up now and it works perfectly. Backup worked, first time, no problems. So please, I may not have explained that quite as well as I would have liked to, uh, but if you do have any questions, then just let me know. And of course, if you like what we do, please subscribe to the channel. Catch you soon.